Hanak Enoch 14. This is the Sefer, the words of righteousness and of the reproof of the watchers who are from eternity, according to that which he, who is holy and great, commanded in the vision. I perceived in my dream that I was now speaking with a tongue of flesh and with my breath, which El Elohim has put in the mouth of men, that they might converse with it, and understand with the heart, as he has created and given to men the power of comprehending the word of understanding. So has he created and given to me the power of reproving the watchers, the offspring of heaven. I have written your petition, and in my vision it has been shown me that what you request will not be granted you as long as the world endures. Judgment has been passed upon you. Your request will not be granted you. From this time forward, never shall you ascend into heaven. He has said that on the earth he will bind you as long as the world endures. But before these things you shall behold the destruction of your beloved sons. You shall not possess them but they shall fall before you by the sword. Neither shall you entreat for them, not for yourselves, but you shall weep and supplicate in silence. The words of the Sefer which I wrote. A vision thus appeared to me. Behold, in that vision Clouds and a mist invited me. Agitated stars and flashes of lightning impelled and pressed me forwards, while winds in the vision assisted my flight, accelerating my progress. They elevate, rather, they elevated me aloft to heaven. I proceeded until I arrived at a wall built with stones of crystal. A tongue of fire surrounded it, which began to strike me with terror. Into this vibrating flame I entered and drew nigh to a spacious habitation built also with stones of crystal. Its walls, too, as well as pavement, were formed with stones of crystal. And crystal, likewise, was the ground. Its roof had the appearance of agitated stars and flashings of lightning. And among them were Kerovim of fire, and their heaven was water. A flame burned around its walls, and its portal blazed with fire. When I entered into this dwelling, it was hot as fire and cold as ice. No trace of delight or life was there. Terror overwhelmed me, and a fearful shaking seized me. Violently agitated and trembling, I fell upon my face. In the vision I looked, and behold, there was another habitation more spacious every entrance to which was open before me. 
erected in a vibrating flame. So greatly did it excel in all points, in glory, in magnificence, and in magnitude, that it is impossible to describe to you either the, the splendor or the extent of it. Its floor was on fire. Above were lightnings and agitated stars, while its roof exhibited a blazing fire. Attentively I surveyed it and saw that it contained an exalted throne, the appearance of which was like that of frost, while its circumference resembled the orb of the brilliant sun. And there was the voice of the Kerovim. From underneath this mighty throne, rivers of flaming fire issued. To look upon it was impossible. One great in glory sat upon it, whose robe was brighter than the sun and whiter than snow. No angel was capable of penetrating to view the face of him, the glorious and the effulgent, nor could any mortal behold him. A fire was flaming around him. A fire also of great extent continued to rise up before him so that not one of those who surrounded him was capable of approaching him. Among the myriads of myriads who were before him. To him, holy consultation was needless, yet did not the sanctified who were near him depart far from him, either by day or by night. Rather, either by night or by day. Nor were they removed from him. I also was so far advanced with a veil on my face and trembling. Then Yahuwah, with his own mouth, called me, saying, Approach hither, Hanak, at my holy word. And he raised me up, making me draw near even to the entrance. My eye was directed to the ground. <laughs> 